In this tutorial we're going to uh, show you um, one of the new features in Chow 4.6 in the DS9 analysis menu, um, DAX. Um, it's the aperture photometry uh, task. Um, it runs the new source flux script. Um, so we've gone ahead and loaded an event file here. Um, you need to start with that event file. Um, images won't work. Um, and we have a couple of sources here that we want to get the net counts, confidence intervals, fluxes, that kind of thing. Uh, so we're going to draw a region around this guy. And of course I get the wrong region. Uh, so we delete that and we will start over with a uh, circular region. <laughs> okay, that's better. And we'll get this thing centered. And now we're going to use a, uh, an annulus for the background. Uh, I always find it easier to draw these off to the side and then move them into place um, rather than try to draw on the top of it because you end up uh, highlighting the circle itself. Uh, and then you can use these little handles here to adjust the radiuses. Um, now unlike um, the other task, the uh, spectral fitting task, we need to specify a background and ha there has to be a background, there must be a background. Um, so we go in into the properties for the annulus and change it to be a background, which is shown dashed. And now we can run the uh, aperture photometry task. So it's under the uh, regions menu, aperture photometry. And uh, you'll see that the name is called source flux because that's really what it's doing is running the, the uh, source flux tool. Um, you are basically two sets of parameters. There's the energy band that you want the flux integrated over. And then the model um, that you want to use for the spectral model. Uh, it doesn't actually do a fit. It's more of a uh, energy conversion. So you can think of it as a PIMS-like uh, conversion. It runs the model flux tool. Um, and then this will go off and start running. Um, so in the background it's running normal kind of child tasks. Uh, it's running uh, DM extract to get counts. It's running flux image to get images to get uh, photon fluxes. Um, it's running the F to EVT tool to uh, generate model independent fluxes. Um, and it's going to be running model flux uh, with the output of uh, spec extract to get the uh, model dependent fluxes. So it's doing a, a lot of stuff. Uh, it's actually running things in parallel. Um, and then when it's done, you get this kind of uh, result. And you see a summary of the uh, position um, and the count rate with the uh, confidence intervals, the 90% confidence interval. Um, you see the uh, broad energy band uh, maps to the uh, 0.5 to 7 kV. Um, you get modeling. Uh, you get flux, which is the model independent flux from FDVT, and the model flux and the unabsorbed model flux, um, which are actually the same because I had the NH equal to zero. So that doesn't uh, give us much. Um, and then it also saves the output files um, for later use if you want to use them. So now let's uh, do something a little more complicated, and uh, instead of doing this one, we're going to uh, deal with one of these two sources over here on the left. Um, because they're so close together, we're actually going to exclude one of the sources from the other one um, before we get started. So we're going to draw, end up drawing two source circles, one that's included to enclose this guy, and then another one that we're going to exclude. So we double click on it and go in the properties and set it to be excluded. And you can see there's a, a red line hashed through it. And then background again, we're going to use an annulus. Um, you could use, you know, a region off to the side, but um, an annulus is kind of more natural. And I'm going to be a little bit less picky about the exact size of it. And set this off running again. Uh, same kind of parameters. Um, we'll change the energy to be soft. The uh, that's the CSC change of source catalog soft band. Um, and oops, I didn't specify the back the English was a background, so I need to make that background. Um, I did that with the uh, shortcut key B. Um, and now we can try this again. Okay, that's better. <laughs> um, again, now it's going to go off and run because we changed sources and all that stuff. Uh, it has to recompute the ARFs and RMFs and 
uh, all those things. Um, the uh, source counts on the left hand side from the small source will be excluded from the right hand side although looking at the magnifying glass it doesn't look like there's much overlap um, but kind of get the idea it's more this is the way you would exclude a nearby source um, and again so then it's done uh, similar kind of results you can get net rates and all those fun things um, you see the energy range here is now 0.5 to 1.2 kV, um, which is the uh, CSC soft band. And again, the files are saved here, which we can just take a quick look at. And you see the normal RFs and RMFs and PI spectrum and grouped and not grouped. Um, the real output from this particular task is the .flux file. Uh, where you can see uh, there's a lot of columns that will make this a little bigger. Um, uh, they get added. Um, so things from net counts, net rates, um, down through positional things such as RAs and DEX and thetas and phis, um, photon fluxes, um, and uh, that's really kind of about it. Um, everything else is uh, you can the results are, that are printed on the screen are also saved in that file, so you don't have to save the, the screen output.